welcome to uh, uh, Christmas Eve. It's exciting. This is the 24th. Uh, let's see what we've got in our advent calendar. We've got, oh, yay. <laughs> we've got my stocking. <laughs> I'm going to hang that on there for us. I wonder if you have stockings in your family. <laughs> A favourite Christmas memory of mine growing up was that when we woke up on Christmas morning, we had a stocking at the end of our beds. Um, in that stocking would be presents that we'd be able to get to open with each other. Um, it would be a feeling that I would be looking forward to for the whole of Advent, waking up to, to that stocking at the end of the bed. Now we've had a lot of anticipation this year, haven't we? Looking forward to lockdown ending. Uh, looking forward to actually being able to hug people again. Looking forward to seeing relatives and loved ones this Christmas. There's a lot of looking forward. Right? I hope this period of Advent has been a great time of anticipation too. Tomorrow we celebrate the birth of Jesus. Hopefully in our Christmas bubbles by now we get to celebrate the solution to our biggest problem together. For those, uh, for those of us who are Christians, we rejoice tomorrow that we've been saved by God, becoming like us and living a perfect life. By a God who cares about us enough to send Jesus to die in our place and rescue us from a right judgment on our lives. By a God who desires us to be with him in his glory forever. Advent is a time of looking forward to Jesus' first coming. But the rest of the year is an Advent looking forward to Jesus' second coming. A time when Jesus will come back and rid the world of evil and everything that is wrong. A time when we will be with Jesus and head into a new creation together. When Christmas bubbles are going to be a thing of the past. And we don't know when Jesus is coming back, do we? But I want to pray for all of us that, just like my childish stocking feeling that I got at Advent, that we would remember tomorrow that we are in the Advent of the second coming of Jesus Christ. For those of us who have faith, we will be with him forever. Let's pray. Father God, we pray that you would protect us this Christmas. We pray that not only that we would enjoy the celebrations of tomorrow, but that you would remind us that our hope is in the second coming of Jesus Christ, your son. In his name we pray. Amen. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas day and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow uh, at 10 o'clock.